The movie begins in a village called the Fog Hill. A pandemic broke out four years ago, and almost the entire villagers were infected with this virus. They tried so many kind of medicines, but it was useless, which brought chaos to the village, and the townspeople were given no choice but to only watch their sick loved ones die slowly. As more and more people died by the day, the villagers suddenly found a well that instantly cured them from the disease. From that moment, peace and prosperity was brought back to the village. We see a girl called Su Xiao Hun, who also stays at the Fog Hill Village. She leaves very early in the morning, so she can also retrieve some medicines for her father. After resting at the house of an elderly woman, she finally arrived at her house. We found out that her father is among the seven founders, who are the creators of the whole village. He owns a pharmacy, and runs it along with his fifth brother. Immediately Su Xiao Hun arrives home, she mistakenly breaks one of her father's most expensive medicine jar. Knowing how important it is, Su Xiao Hun is told to buy a replacement medicine. On her way to get the medicine, she meets three mysterious travelers, prompting her to hide her money, as she is very suspicious of them. But surprisingly, these travelers calmly questions her if there is any nearby town they can rest for the night. But still suspicious of them, she preferably give them a fake address to lure them away, and these travelers believed, due to how convincing she was. Xiao Hun feels at peace because these strangers didn't notice her money, and she uses the chance to run as fast as she can, so she won't be apprehended by any bandits. Not noticing the rock below her feet, she falls to the ground and ended up at a really large stone, which has an inscription on it called Mysterious Fog Hill. Something touches her leg, making her to throw it directly to the sky out of fear, only to later find out that it's just a duck. But what terrified her mostly is when she sees a man taking his bath, making her to fall down the mountain in fear. The duck is also falling along with her, but the mysterious boy chooses to instead rescue the duck. Xia Hun is really confused on why the mountains is called the Fog Hill. But as someone who has been residing at the forest for a long time, he knows all the secrets. The mysterious man suddenly decided to tell her a story. Long time ago, there were numerous vicious demons, who normally reside at the Fog Hill, making it a problem for humans to travel from one place to the other, because they didn't want it to become a food by those demons. Because of this, a Buddhist monk decided to teach five different families on how to control the five elements, after they successfully absolve all the spiritual energy in the forest, the families were finally able to gain possession of elements of wood, fire, earth, water, and soil. With these powers, the families were able to banish the demons to a mysterious fog hill, and created a barrier to trap it forever. But there is the most strongest and brutal beast among them called Kirin, whose body mostly attract more demons who wants to increase their powers, that is the reason why he was voluntarily trapped in a gigantic spiritual shield. At that same moment, each of the family selected a protector to represent each of the five elements, who looked after the fog hill to protect the other demons from penetrating. Since then, the villagers didn't have any problems with demons again, and they were freely able to travel wherever they wanted without being afraid. But few years later, the fire guardian called Yuzan unseals the spiritual shield without permission, because he wanted to save his mother. Zan really underestimated the demon powers, so he arrogantly said that, he wants to absolve something from it. Zan unleashes his fire powers, and as he goes towards the demon to absolve its energy, Kirin stops his blows effortlessly, and no matter how hard Zan tries to fight off the demon, that's when he realizes that he is no match for it, as the demon kept on defeating him in a fight. As Zan was about to be killed by the demon, an ice comes out from the ground, and both Zan and the demon is frozen in the ice. We find out that the person controlling the ice is the water guardian called Shen, who was also accompanied by the guardians of earth, wood and metal. And with their combined powers, they were able to seal the demon inside the portal forever. But unfortunately, some of the demons managed to escape, that's why the fog hill is really still dangerous. After listening to the story, Xiao Han is so shocked, because she realizes that the man telling her the story is no other person than the fire guardian. The group arrives at the place where Xiao Hun was sent by her father to get a replacement medicine and as soon as they got what they wanted, the sun suddenly goes down, which gives Zan no choice, but to escort her safely back to her house. Back at the village, the authorities were alerted, as they hear the alarm bell ringing. At the entrance of the village, we see the three mysterious men from earlier, who were already attacking the village, killing some of the guards in the process. As one of the mysterious men goes to finish off a wounded guard, the sixth elder of the village appears to fight them. We see a very intensive combat between the both of them, but no matter how skillful the elder was, the mysterious person still manages to defeat him with not much effort. As the situation was getting more worse, the fifth elder also appears and joins the fight in defending his village. 
using his spear to attack the mysterious man, we find out that this elder is even more skillful, and with his excellent spear abilities, he manages to land a blow on the mysterious man, prompting the second mysterious person to join the fight. The two uses their combined powers to launch an attack on the fifth elder, and no matter how he tries to dodge their punches, they still manages to defeat him, as they pierces his body with their abnormal hands. The seventh elder also appears to assist, as he started to fire explosives on the two mysterious men. But one of the men backfire the explosives, making the seventh elder to also suffer a very terrible injury. One of the men hurries to kill the fifth elder, but just before he could strike, Zahn appears, and stops him from doing so. Immediately, Zahn defeats one of the mysterious men as he has him under his feet, while he started to straggle the other one on the throat, which suddenly reveals the mysterious men identity to be demons. But before one of them could land a punch, Zahn immediately unleashes his fire abilities, and uses it to burn one of them alive, making the rest of the villagers so shocked, as they realizes that Zahn is a fire guardian. On the other hand, we see a young boy called Dan, who is pursuing other bunch of kids, as he saw them trying to steal his food. Few moments later, his elder brother arrives from a very long journey, making Dan so overexcited, as he embraces his elder brother, whom he hasn't seen for a really long time. The two share a moment together as his brother gifted him with one of his favorite food from his journey. Unfortunately, the exciting moment between the both of them doesn't last long, as they hear a strange and chaotic noise coming from the village gates. Quickly the two brothers hurries to the location, to find out what is really going on. At the entrance of the village, the chief commands everyone to retreat, as they assisted the injured ones back inside the village, while they left the demons for Zahn to fight alone. Suddenly, the masked man started to undergo a transformation, as it eventually reveals its true demonic form. Immediately, Zahn started to engage in a very tough combat with this demon. But the demon in its true form was really too strong and at the same time fast, making it so hard for Zahn to avoid all its impending attacks. Angrily, Zahn unleashes his flame's powers and as he descended all his energy, it blasted the demon away. Zahn then uses his flames to increase his speed, and as he landed a very powerful blow on the demon, it get blasted again for the second time, and ended up making its escape. As the elders arrives at the village, the townspeople were so surprised, seeing the very serious injury they all obtained from the fight. Dan's brother started to treat the injured ones, while the confusion and fear among the villagers only started to grow bigger. The village leader calms them down and reveals to them that they were attacked by demons, so they all really need to prepare themselves in case the demon returns. But before he could say any more word, the demon appears at the elder back and threatens the chief concerning a strange location. As the chief is panicking in fear, Zahn suddenly comes out from nowhere and attacks the demon with full force. Zahn puts the demon to the ground, but it started to unleash a massive flames on the villagers. Zahn blocks the flames, but he gives the demon the chance to finally land a blow on him, making him to obtain a very massive injury. Suddenly, the demon spreads its feathers, and as some of the villagers looks at it, they started to yell out in pain, and were eventually turned into ashes. The demons absolves all their souls, which suddenly transforms it into a human-like form. The demon quickly gains access to one of the villagers' mind, and after discovering the location of the thing he's looking for, it goes away living Zahn on the ground, who is still weak from his injuries. Immediately after Zahn cures his wounds, his hair instantly transforms into flames, and he suddenly started run after the demon. Unfortunately, the sixth elder was also affected by the demon powers, making him to go out of control, as he transforms into a vicious beast and started to attack every of the villagers. He even goes to attack his own son, but Dan's brother steps in the fight, to protect the little boy, only to end up being stabbed by the beast. Dan who sees this is so furious, and hurries to rescue his brother. He tries to strike it with a stick to defend his brother, but ended up getting a very brutal punch in return. Suddenly the sixth elder later comes back to his senses, and realizes the damages he has caused, and begs Dan's brother to take his life, before he will do any more harm to the villagers. Meanwhile Zahn catches up with the demon, and the fierce fight between the both of them continues. It appears that the demon in this new form is really so powerful, as it was just overcoming Zahn's attacks effortlessly, and even ended up defeating Zahn with one brutal punch. This actually made Zahn more angry, making him to even transform into a more stronger form, with his whole body glowing with fire. Zahn moves towards the demon with full speed, and as he punches the demon repeatedly with all his fire powers, he is finally able to defeat the demon, and brought peace back to the village. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel, and keep watching. Bye.